So today I want to um, just talk a little bit about meditation, obviously, and um, what it supports in us. It's an extra, um, my spiritual teacher, Jane Elizabeth Hart of Center for Enlightenment calls it, calls intuition a third arm, right? It's a third arm that can help us whenever we need it. We think we're having to go through life just with our intellect, but when we tune in to what's happening on the inside, we can get some intuitive answers to support us. And meditation is that breath, that extra breath that gives us that extra energy, that extra push to meet and greet whatever is ours to meet and greet each day, each week. Hopefully you're tapping into your um, meditation center every day, but um, we're having this time so that we can do it together, supporting each other. Um, and I was on an electric bike about a week and a half ago. A friend of mine and I rented some electric bikes, which I always kind of considered cheating, right? Because I love riding my bicycle and you know, it's like, that's, that's kind of cheating. But, you know, it was fun to try out and um, really enjoyed it. I am a true believer now in electric bikes. Um, but we had so much fun just riding along and I noticed on the way back, when there weren't a lot of people around, we, we pushed the envelope on our, our electric gears a little bit. And it was really this interesting experience because I'd be pedaling along and I would turn up the setting so that the electric part was kicking in a little bit more and it didn't kick in right away. And all of a sudden I just felt like someone is behind me just giving me a gentle, careful little push and it propelled me forward, but without being, you know, too fast or too jerky or um, too scary. <laughs> so it was just this nice, beautiful little push. And I remember thinking, oh my gosh, that's like meditation when we turn into that, tune into that center within us and we feel you know, maybe you feel energy as you're meditating, you just feel it wash over you. Um, and if you don't, don't worry about it, it's still doing it. Even if you don't feel it, it's still happening for you. And as you continue your meditation, you will eventually feel it because you're tuning into yourself and our self is made out of energy. You know, we have electricity running through our nerve cells, keeping our bodies going, making our muscles move and our brains think and overthink and all of that. So that electricity is there. It's just part of who we are. And the more you tune into it, the more you can feel that energy of you. And so when we're meditating, you may feel that just that sweep of energy coming through and, and energy is everywhere and there's not a top or bottom left or right to it but oftentimes we do feel it kind of coming from above and sweeping through us maybe that's why we have the concept of heaven being out in the sky somewhere because at some point there were mystics walking around and, and talking to people about these things more um, than we have now, although I think that's going to turn a corner eventually. Um, but, you know, that, that there's that concept of like, you know, we pray up above and everything, but there's, a, there's an energy that does flow down through. It can feel, we experience it, and perhaps because our brains are in our heads and that's where all of the electricity is and it just kind of goes down from there. I don't know. I don't know. All those details doesn't matter. But... You may experience that also, so I just want to put that out there. So if you feel that, it's that is energy, that's vibration. Um, as we quiet our minds and quiet our bodies, we open ourselves more to that energy and vibration. And so it's perfectly normal for that energy to to be lifting us and moving through us. And so when I was on the e-bike and I just felt that when I would change gears and I I pedal 
a few rounds and then all of a sudden I would just feel this like gentle pushing me forward and making my job a lot easier and being able to go farther on less effort and I'm like that is such a perfect metaphor for meditation so let's tune into that extra um, support and push now I invite you to get comfortable in your chairs <sighs> just relax and let your body just be as comfortable as possible so that you don't even think about it it's just there it's just resting there and we start off as always with a couple of deep breaths We let go of the day. Those things will be there when we're done. We just let them be outside the door right now. When they come in, it's okay. Just sweep them out the door again, gently. And find that place that is your center. Wherever you feel it's strongest. And it's not necessarily the place pulling your attention. The mind can be very busy and pull our attention or if there's a place in the body that is holding tension or feels painful that can draw our attention but our center is different our center is that strong steady quiet place it's that center where things are quiet even as Other things are stirring all around. For me today, that is my heart center. It's a good place to focus. Because it's away from our heads that think too much. <laughs> our heart center is our receptivity. And for a few moments, let your breath come in and out of your heart center. Or if you have another place you're focusing on, let your breath come in and out of that place. Breathing in pure air and breathing out everything else. And 
And just seeing the continuation of this metaphor with the bicycles and without the backup of the electronic part of the bicycle. It's just us doing all the effort, working really hard, pushing, 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 pushing to go, to move, to get to where we're going. And with that power of the electricity of the e-bike, we can just sit back and not struggle so much. We can let go a little bit, relax. We still have our part to do, we still have to pedal, but we're trusting that back up. We're tuned into it. We know it's there. We know it's supporting us. And the more we need it, the more we can call on it. Feel that energy like wind rushing through you, a cool breeze on a hot day. Or if you need a warm breeze right now, it can be a warm breeze also. But it's there, moving in you with just exactly what you need. And if there's something you need help with right now, just ask for it within yourself right now and let it be picked up by that energy that's moving through you. Maybe you're puzzling about something. Just ask. What do I need to know about this? What do I need to do? What do I need to say? What do I need to let go? And let the wind of that energy flowing through you just carry it away, knowing that your answer will come.
the center within us is effortless. It's effortless. That's the beauty of it. That's the peace of it. That's the steady reality of it. that beautiful support that flows through us. Will always show us what we need. And it's always wanting us to see that We don't have to work so hard, we just work differently. You might even notice your muscles responding to that effortlessness, being able to just be, to relax. And just the message that keeps coming up is that it just doesn't have to be that hard. We make things so hard for ourselves, sometimes for other people, but mainly for ourselves. And this love, this universal love and light and wisdom that flows through us is just saying, It just doesn't have to be so hard. We are supported. All we have to do is remember that there are these extra gears we have wired into us that will make things so much easier.
Together here today, we are accepting this support. We're acknowledging it, we're accepting it. And not just for this time, but as part of who we are, every moment of every day, Through our meditation time and our commitment to that practice every day, we're building on that connection. We're opening ourselves more and more to that support that is hungry to breathe more through us. We are wired to be supported. Just like that electric bike is wired to make moving the bicycle easier. Feel that support moving more and more into you, through you. Saying, please let me support you, please pay attention, please ask, please listen. I'm here for you, I'm here with you. As you let go, you see that I am you.
And notice right now what that support feels like in your body. And even if you don't notice anything, you've taken this time to be still and things have happened. Whether you feel it or not, that connection is stronger, that support is there. Your answers will come. And now you know, if you didn't already know, coming in today, you know that you have these extra gears, this extra support that belongs to you. It's always at the ready to support you. And all we have to do is stop trying so hard ourselves. Stop thinking so hard, stop pushing. And we will always have our part to do. But the biggest part is tuning in to this loving support like the wind. Feel that in every cell of your body. And let your attention again be at that centered place that you identified when we started. Feel your breath there. Take a deep breath. Just know you are taking the support with you today and this week. And it belongs to you. It's yours. There's no end to it. So tap into it every day. Tap into it many times throughout the day. Because now we know that we are each equipped with our own spiritual (laughs) e-bike. tap into it. We're going uphill. We can feel ourselves going uphill. We can say, oh yeah, I don't have to do this by myself. I can ask for help. I can ask for support. And we tap into that anytime. And I invite you and I encourage you to work with that this week, every day. And I will too. Have a wonderful week. Thank you for coming today. And feel free to hang out in that space in your own home or office, wherever you are, and and just be with it a little while longer if you want to. And I will see you next week for sure. Bye-bye.